911, where is your emergency? My dad's being really mean to my mommy. What's he doing? He's really hitting my mom and he's just hitting her to the ground. Hello, this is Mr. Bill Cosby. Hello, this is Mr. Bill Cosby. Hello, this is Mr. Bill Tonight, you're watching WCNS News Channel 5. Local news at 10. A massive fire broke out this evening inside a residential apartment. A man is arrested in connection with his brother's death on Saturday morning. Here is James Howard live from Channel 5 Studio. In today's top story, America's debt crisis continues to spire a lot of control. Breaking news. The protests were held over the weekend in 14 major cities. National Weather Service has confirmed three tornadoes in Monday's storm. Prosecutor's office is investigating a shooting in Newark. David Smith joined us live from Newark with more. David. I want to show you the scene that's going on right behind me at the corner of 18th and Livingston where this all took place. Family and friends of the victims have gathered along with authorities who are conducting their investigation. Thanks, David. Scattered thunderstorms will continue west and south of the city. Breaking news alerts. We have an update on breaking news. Police have closed the road at both ends as the fire continues to burn out of control. Ann Worker is reporting live from downtown. Firefighters have been struggling with northerly winds and warm temperatures. Residents to the south of the fire have been evacuated during the afternoon. Coming up. Tonight at 10. Week review, coming up next on 1045. And later on, Champions League semi-finals at 12. Live on WCNS News Channel 5. We want to go back outside right now. And want to talk to WCNS News reporter Ed Swanson. Ed, what is the latest for you out there? Sandy has given us her best shot right now. Jersey is taking the front of the storm right on the chin. With over 16 trillion in current total debt, and over a $115 trillion in future committed debt, the problem is only getting worse. We spoke to our analyst Mr. Robert Chambers about the situation. Exclusive. Only on WCNS News. Coming up next, evening sport news with Sonia Shepard and Paul Haywood. WCNS News with James Howard. Breaking weather, the Weather Authority with George Wright and Chief Meteorologist Scott Davis and Sport with Amy Stone. The C's WCNS News at Town. This evening, tropical storm gains strength. Officials report some storm surge and flooding. 30 out of the country's 33 electricity grids were down. Reporting live from National Stadium, Paul Haywood. The game will start in less than half an hour. An exciting day for both teams and their supporters. WCNS News continues with the latest sports news. This is WCNS Sports. The best coverage of your favorite sports.
This is WCNS weather. Number one weather authority in the state. second part of the day. As we look at the weather seven day forecast, 43 degrees for the high tomorrow, are struggling to make it to 40 degrees by Wednesday. Thursday sunshine, and as we move to Friday, dry and cool temperatures, some clouds and some evening rain. Thanks for joining us, have a good evening, we'll be back with news at 11. Thanks for watching WCNS News. Part of WCNS News Network. Walking for you. Yeah. 
jungle. Audio jungle. Audio Jungle 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 Audio Jungle
Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle 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 Audio Jungle
audio jungle. Audio Jungle Audio Jungle Audio Jungle Audio Jungle